Welcome to this podcast on using StudyWiz and in particular the mailing system or WizMail. First things first, let's log on. Not forgetting the three zeros. In with the password and we hit the home screen or the home page of StudyWiz. Remembering calendars to the left, latest notices, student notices, the latest resources uploaded for your son or daughter, and the assessment reporting portal is all there for you. We're heading down to the left-hand side to the green uh, little tab window there, and there are no messages at the moment. I'm going to click more and come to a fairly standard email looking uh, page. Inbox sent trash and draft on the left-hand side, and some filtering tabs here where you can filter the mail you might have for today, this week, this month, etc. Let's click on New Message down the bottom. Yes, it hides down there. I'm going to select the class or group. I'm going to send a message to Peter, uh, Peter Biddington. You'll see he has a T for teacher next to his name. Biddington, Peter. And I want his uh, name to appear on the right hand side. So I click on it to highlight it. Click the Add button and Peter appears on the right hand side. I also wish to include Catherine McMahon in this little whiz mail, so I'm going to select English. And the three English staff that teach uh, at Year 12 appear there. I'm going to deliberately make a mistake and add Catherine O'Rourke. Highlight her name, click Add. Realise my mistake and recognise I need to remove Catherine from the selected recipients box by doing the reverse, really. Click on her name, hit the Remove button, and she's back on the left hand side and now I'll add Catherine McMahon correctly. So there we are. Peter and Catherine are the recipients of this mail. I have to put in a title and you'll notice there are two faint red bars on the top left hand side of this title uh, window. That means it's a compulsory field. Thanks for the start to the year. My options. Dear Peter and Catherine Many thanks for the work you have done so so far for Ellen. Regards, Don. Fix up my capitalization errors. There we are. Now I've got a couple of options. I can send it straight away or I could click on Save as Draft and it would go to the draft folder, which is what I'll do. Just before I leave this page, I'd just like to highlight there is an upload function here too. And that's for when you want to attach a file, a Word doc, or a PDF, etc. to your um, WizMail. I'm going to click the Save Draft now. We end up back to the email page and you'll see in the draft there is now one message. There we go. That's how easy it is to use the WizMail. More later.